In this video, I'm going to talk about the new designer within the Power Automate application. Now, the new designer which comes with Microsoft Power Automate is uh, does have a modern look. It has a clean canvas. Uh, it has an organized settings page, which I'm going to show you in a while. Uh, it has got a refreshed uh, add an action window. So it's completely different from uh, what you used to see in the old interface. Now there is a more intuitive run after settings, so it is easy to configure, easy to see the status. Uh, and there are some additional features which uh, I will walk you through, uh, named as searching and action, toggling the minimap, zoom in, zoom out functionality, which has improved a lot, uh, show timings for each action, post run, uh, drop zones. Uh, but uh, there are some limitations as well, like uh, the new interface doesn't support non-open API flows for peaking the code, uh, hybrid triggers like team selected messages. Uh, and this interface is not available yet on Power Apps uh, interface when you open the flows over there and within the teams. Now, as you see in the screenshot over here, when you uh, go into navigate to my flows, you will see a new option called as edit with the new designer. Edit will take you to the old interface. Edit with new designer will take you to the new interface. Now, this is how the old interface looks like, okay, currently. So this is, we are used to seeing these controls or uh, send an email. Uh, and this is how the entire canvas looks like when you author a flow. And this is the operation selection action and this is how the uh, like say run after interface looks like so it shows you a checkbox uh, with some text in it now looking into the new designer now if you compare and contrast now on the first part you will see that when you go to any operation there is an option to search uh, under uh, the settings uh, you will be able to see a whole bunch of uh, collapsible controls this is how the canvas looks like, a more compact interface. Uh, this is how the run as run after looks like. So it, it has a nice little, uh, say, status icons uh, to uh, uh, rel relate to the status of the flows execution. Now here, uh, you will also see uh, how many seconds does the flow took to run, you know, uh, when the flow is run completely. Add an action uh, has a nice bit of interface to search the action type and search the action controls. Uh, and this is how the raw output and the raw input looks like. Bit similar, but uh, it has got a, a whole bunch of new interface. Now, let's dig into uh, the demo. So I'm in make.powerautomate.com. So let me create an instant cloud flow first. Okay, so let me call this as uh, October flow. Okay, and I'll select a trigger, which is a manual trigger. And this is how the interface looks like uh, in the olden days, right? Like this is how we are used to it. Now, this interface may stop working over a period of time. I don't know when, but it will uh, as people embrace the new interface. Now, let me uh, put one control, say sending an email, okay? And let me configure this quickly. Just to save this flow, okay? So in order to save this flow, I need to have one trigger and one action. So uh, I have added this control. And now this is how my uh, old flow used to look like, okay? Now let it save completely. So once it is saved, you will see the status as uh, this flow is currently getting saved. And once it is saved, you will see that your flow is ready to go. We recommend you to test it, okay? So let me go back, okay? Now here, on this interface in my flows, okay. You see this October flow, right? Now here you have an option to edit or edit with a new designer, okay? So if I go into, say, let me go into the flow again and select this, then you get an option to edit with a new designer. So let's see how the new designer looks like. 
Now, if you don't see that option, make sure that you are on the monthly channel uh, of all the updates being sent by Microsoft. Now, let me close this Copilot for a moment. Let me show you how this interface looks like. Now, this is like a new canvas, okay, to author your flow. So this is the trigger and this is that action, okay? Now here, you can zoom in, zoom out. So I'm zooming in and I'm zooming out. I can click on the screen and then, you know, like place it anywhere in my canvas, okay? So I can zoom in, then I can, again, I'm clicking my bu mouse button, right, uh, left button. Uh, I can unzoom it. I can fit the view. So if this is the fit the view, so think about it like if your flow canvas is somewhere here, if you do a fit the view, it will come in the center. Now, I can search for the workflow actions Okay, from here. Now, there are not many controls over here, so it is an easy job. But if I click on search, it will tell you uh, which all controls are you looking for. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me just put it somewhere in the bottom. Let me do a search and say I want to see send an email. Okay, then uh, what will happen is it will show you the send an email functionality. Okay, let me it's gone it's been zoomed a lot okay so let me bring this over here okay now this is a send an email functionality which i searched okay now let me go again and search for manual trigger a flow and then this control is visible to me now here this is a toggle mini map now here it will show you from where this uh, canvas controls are located so if you click here then you will see on the right hand side those control now if let's assume this is here then it will show you in mini map where this control is and then you can you know from here itself you can move those canvas components so this is a, like a uh, like this is useful when you have a big flow which has a lot of branching conditions okay now let me place it here so this is about the control now if you click here manually trigger a flow i'm just i've just clicked on it then you will see a nice bit of setting so you can add an input over here itself okay it's not on top of the control now it is somewhere on the left hand side if i click on settings i can collapse i can expand okay i can see the code view i can see the about information okay now if i want to say I, if i go in this control now here again send an email control has got a nice bit of parameters settings code view testing and about okay under parameters i can see the to the subject the body importance and all those things okay and i can um, go back now this is a bit confusing if i click over here i will be thrown out of the canvas window Okay, so remember, you just need to click here to collapse or expand and go back. Many times this uh, control uh, just overlaps with this back control, okay? So make sure that you don't make that mistake. Okay, so now I'm here. Now, if I do a right click, I can delete this control, okay? So that's also possible in this particular control. If I go back, then what happens is you are like thrown back into the uh, flows window whereby you are seeing the flow details okay now again if you want to go back you can just click on edit with new designer and then the designer will open now let me close this co-pilot and i can even uh, switch to classic designer from here so if i click on to switch to classic designer it will take me to the classic designer interface now let me save this flow so it will tell you that this flow is currently getting saved and once it is saved we can run this flow and see how this flow behaves okay so this is again that same process i will click on test then on test flow if i click on manually i'll just say test and this is the connector say so run the flow and it will run the flow now, post execution, it will show you in a nice interface how many seconds it took. So, zero second, one second. Okay. Now, here, if I click on this, then it will show me exactly what the parameters were. Like, I can see the raw inputs, I can see the host, I can see the parameters, I can see the outputs, I can see the properties. Okay. 
and I can see the settings, code view, and a nice interface. Okay. Similarly, if I click here, I can also see the controls for the trigger. Okay. So how it was executed. Now, let me edit this flow. So let me uh, first go back. Okay, let me, first it is saving. Let me show you right from the start how to view this flow. So let me save this first. Yeah. Now here, if I go to switch to classic designer, then what happens is it will take you to the old interface. Okay, and within old interface. Uh, there is an option, you know, like when you click a new step, you have an option to add an action and add a parallel branch, add an action. This will open this kind of a connector interface and then you can search for the control, right? This, this happens in the uh, old interface. Now, let me edit with a new designer. Now here, in the new designer once it loads yeah now it is loaded completely now you can see the plus icon so if i click here then it will ask you to add an action add a parallel branch if i click on add an action then action component will get uh, loaded over here on the left hand side and if i say i want to search for something called as dataverse okay then it will list down all the Dataverse controls. It won't list all, but it will give you an option to see more. And if you click on see more, then you can see all the Dataverse control in a nice looking interface. It is a bit expanded compared to the previous version. You can also select from a runtime, like the built-in standard or a premium component. And you can also see the action type, whether it's a trigger or an action. And you can navigate through it. Now, how do you get uh, those controls placed in your form is you just click on it you know the moment you click on it it will be uh, on your interface and then here you can either use OAuth or service principle uh, and get those authentication sorted okay so let me come here now here if you click on it then you can go into the settings from here right mm. I think uh, I have covered most of the things, uh, but there are other things which you can do. Like if I want to add a parallel branch, then I can, you know, select any uh, action, okay? And then that action will get placed within the canvas, okay? But the main point over here is like, you can do a right click and you can delete this control if you do not want this control to be placed, okay? Uh, in the form. And here again, you can add an action it will give you that screen you can either select an action or a trigger and uh, you can search for that component now here in the eye interface if you see here this eye icon you can actually see uh, the description okay so that's a nice bit of information which you can see uh, so if you want to see this it's a box is a service that keeps your file safe uh, and if you want to see something about blogger you can see blogger details as well so it is giving you some sort of a help uh, flow checker, flow checker, uh, like it, it has also has a different interface, but uh, more or less it is like kind of a UI refresh, I would say. Uh, so I believe that's it, folks. This is all about the new interface designer in Microsoft Power Automate. Do test it. It is still in preview. So you may find uh, some sort of discrepancies or some sort of a bug, or maybe some controls may not work as desired. So if that's the case, then there is always an option to switch to classic designer. Thanks for watching.